If you buy a mutual fund or stock and hope it will go up, that's just it. You are hoping for an increase in your investment rather than knowing what the investment will actually do. Investors who have their life savings in 401k plans, IRAs, mutual funds, and stocks have virtually no control of their future. They are crossing their fingers and hoping for a positive outcome. Unfortunately, many find that the positive outcome never comes. We are surrounded by this financial uncertainty. Wall Street has failed and continues to fail. Financial planners give us the same advice that they have for years, and frankly, it just doesn't work. I want to let you in on a little secret. Not only do you not know what is going to happen in these investments that you're making, but your stockbroker and or financial planner, they don't know either. Stockbrokers, money managers, and financial planners, they want your money as often as possible and they want to hold on to it as long as possible. Why? Because they earn fees and make money whether you make money or lose money. They win either way. So today we're going to discuss those fees, many of which are hidden and unknown. Did you know that just 2% in fees per year can eat up close to a third of your retirement dollars after 30 years of saving? But that's not the only problem. These fees are usually higher than 2% and your 401k or IRA plan administrator doesn't legally even have to disclose these fees to you. They are taken out month after month and year after year and you don't even know what's happening. And the problems with 401ks, IRAs, qualified plans, stocks and mutual funds, well, they just go on and on. So let's get into the detail and see what's actually happening. I have here a cash flow calculator and let's assume that a person's putting a thousand dollars a month into a 401k which would be twelve thousand dollars a year and let's say that they've done this over a course of a 30-year time frame and we'll also assume that they believe they're going to earn a seven percent return on this money so at the end of 30 years assuming twelve thousand a year into a 401k there would be total growth on the account of one million two hundred and twelve thousand dollars now these are tax deferred dollars so tax is going to have to be paid on this money at some point but today we're just looking at the fees so if we take in consideration a two percent fee on the entire 1.212 balance this two percent fee is being taken out every year watch what happens to the 1.2 million it's eroded away to eight hundred and sixteen thousand dollars that's a third of your money being taken out in fees. And what's interesting is that 2% fees doesn't seem like a lot, but when we look at it long term, it erodes a third of your portfolio. And again, this 2% is a low number. We've had third party studies come out and verify that these fees are as high as 3.5%. What would happen if someone just did a one-time investment rather than 12000 per year? Let's look at that. Let's say someone invested $100,000 in one year. That money, after 30 years earning a 7% rate of return, would have grown to $761,000. But again, a 2% management fee erodes that to 415000 nearly a 50% reduction in account value. So the truth about fees is alarming. This is how the brokers, the financial planners, and money managers are earning their money. They're charging fees, many of which are hidden and legally don't have to be disclosed, year in and year out. There's a better alternative to investing in the stock market. I would invite you to meet with us so that we can show you a better alternative. This alternative has worked for decades and has historically outperformed the stock market. We look forward to meeting with you.